TCU opened the 2016 season in Colorado Springs taking on the Air Force Academy Falcons. The Falcons came into the game on a 12-game home winning streak, the longest in team history. Add on to that, Air Force has never lost to an FCS opponent, meaning the Wildcats faced a tough task trying to ground the Falcons. You don't know how to play Air Force until you come play Air Force. And, and they are tough, and they are relentless, and they are disciplined. Playing against an entire program, uh, you know, coaches and players, the whole thing that you have the utmost respect for. And, you know, it, it, was, it was fun playing in front, of the, in front of the crowd. You know, the, the cadets would harass us. It was a great atmosphere of competition. And, uh, you know, anybody that comes in here, ought to, they ought to commend that because this is a, this is a big time deal. ACU's defense had all of fall camp to prepare for the Falcons' unique triple option offense, and it showed early in the game. The Wildcats forced two early fumbles and held Air Force to only seven points in the first quarter. You saw how our defense can play, you know, and, and, and I thought they played hard. I thought they played well for the most part. Gave up, a, you know, they gave up a couple of big plays, but that's what these guys do. Air Force responded with three touchdowns to end the half, including a 33-yard run and a 62-yard pass, which helped the Falcons take a 28-7 lead into the break. ACU started the second half with a big play of their own as Dallas Seeley found DJ Fuller for a 43-yard touchdown pass. Seeley would finish the day 16 of 33, throwing for 274 yards and three touchdowns as he looks to establish a connection with a young wide receiving core. The big plays that you saw showed up uh, because they have ability. We, we've done a great job recruiting, uh, but they need more snaps under them. And I think, I think you saw some big plays today, and I think you'll see more and more in the future. The Wildcats' last touchdown came late in the game as Dallas Seeley found Tracy James on a 76-yard pass and catch, the final score in a 37-21 defeat. While the team is disappointed in the loss, Coach Collins was encouraged by the performance. We always say around our place, if, when you get squeezed, the real you comes out, and you saw you saw the real us, and, and I like I like what I see. I saw enough today to make me know, not to make me think, but to make me know, you know what, we're going to be okay. ACU carries an 0-1 record into next week, where they are set to take on Northern Colorado in the home opener at Shotwell Stadium. Kickoff for that game is set for 6 p.m. For ACUSports.com, I'm Seth Wilson. Go Wildcats!